All right, this is going to be a very quick and dirty video. Unboxing, however you want to say that name. Baofeng, I believe is the pronunciation for it. I'm not 100% sure though. But yeah, I'm back. And if you look up above, you notice the name change. Um, I want to do a quick little unboxing of this and then we'll go into a little bit of detail here, all right? All right, I'm gonna try this one-handed, so. Do to do. And of course I dropped it. There we go. This one here. is the AR-5RM. Comes with a battery, which is a, on, focus. 2,500 milliamp, there we go. <clears throat> we have the antenna, a USB-C charging cable, because in the back of this, you can charge directly to the, charge the battery directly or you can set it on the stand and charge it on your desk. Also have a, a little headset with a microphone, push the talk button, little wrist strap, and a little clip, and that'd be it. So, Bufang, Baofeng, Bufong, Baofeng, however you want to pronounce it. AR5RM, the one that I ordered. This is what it came with, and of course it's the Amazon, you know. Uh, I'm going to try to get a... Uh, Link to put it down below, which would be if I if I get everything set up and the link is down there, it is an affiliate link. So you'll uh, be helping me out a little bit. When I ordered all this, I also got the 771, which this one is the TD, TID radio, 771 antenna. And I got a second radio. And the reason why I purchased these two radios for me and my wife, um, emergency situation. Um, I'm not, <clears throat> not saying to use this for everyday use. This is basically just for emergency, emergency situations. If uh, anything happens to cell service and the area that we're in, um, we'd be able to communicate to each other once we get close to each other. Um, these are open band radio. Uh, looks like they, let me see. Um, actually give me a second. I'll tell you. All right. So these AR five RMs run FM radio 76 to 108 megahertz. AM aviation frequency band 108 to 136 megahertz receive VHF 144 to 148 megahertz receive and transmit VHF 2 200 to 260 megahertz are uh, receive UHF 430 to 440 receive and transmit 
and UHF-2 350 to 390 megahertz receive only. Um, and I do know that these go up into uh, the GMRS frequencies and that's if you are a licensed operator you know do with the information what you will I'm just posting it for what I'm doing with it and it's basically emergency situation grid down type system that me and my wife will have in place we know which channel to get on to communicate to each other which it'll probably if it's just cell phone outage because of weather it'll probably be on the GMRS or FRS system um, and if it's a major issue we'll use you know if it's an emergency for us I justify it to myself do with it what you will but to me if it's an emergency situation you should have some type of system set in place uh, to be able to you know communicate with your loved ones um, you know your friends your family people that you know you care about and that you want to make sure are safe and okay have some type of plan um, you know and this is just one part to our plan that we're going to be putting into place and if you've watched any of my other videos yes I still have it and still use it <laughs> all right peace y'all uh, enjoy it um, give me a thumbs up give me a follow um, you know like the video follow share with your friends um, all that good stuff but uh, more videos to come this is just like I said down and dirty showing you these real quick unboxing it um, oh one of the other things I had to do is get one of those <clears throat> it is the programming cable for these radios and for a few other types of radios like these um, so all in this, um, hold on, let me, let me check. So as I was saying, these, the, this set, two of the TD771 antennas and this programming cable all together, less than $75. And it gives us a little bit of peace of mind. Yes, I know, I know these are not like top of the line really good radios i understand that and i get that but at this point in time this is what i could afford to make it a little bit easier for me and my wife to communicate if something went down that's it eventually down the road i plan on upgrading having these as backups and getting something a little bit nicer for us to have I would really like to have mobiles and a base that way we're a little bit set up a little bit better but um to that point until that time this is what we have this is what we're going to use so again thanks i appreciate the views watching i know this is like not the greatest of videos but it is something that i'm going to put out there real quick get it up and get it going and next video will be a little more impressive. Um, I'll go in a little more further detail with these probably in the next one on uh, setting them up and programming them. Um, and, uh, and I'll do a little bit of B-roll and, and have some nice uh, special effects for you. But until then, right now, I'm out.